Okay, this is the last question on the uh, 2011 paper for Unit 1, and it's a bit of a tricky one because not only have we got this star up here, means you've got to explain yourself as you're going along and um, explain fully, it's actually 11 marks in total, so it's, um, it's quite tricky. So each day 147 trains leave Lee Road Station. One day most trains are on time, 19 trains are late. What percentage of trains are late? Well, to find a percentage, you need to do the fraction 19 over 147. Okay, so 19 out of 147 is going to give you um, a decimal, and it will be a really nasty decimal in your calculator. So it comes out as 0 0.1275167. Eight five two. Uh, so that's the right calculation to do. Now to turn that, uh, you need to do, turn that to a decimal. You need to do answer times a hundred. So that comes out as twelve point seven five one six seven seven eight five two. Again, one mark for that. So that's percent. So let's just repeat this. 19 out of 47 is a fraction. Do the division and you get a decimal. Times that by 100 to get your percentage. And then we need to do it to one decimal place, which is 12.8, because the 5 rounds the 7 up. That's your third mark. Okay. Next one, we've got a stem and leaf diagram. So to draw a stem and leaf diagram, we need to put them, it has to be in order. We have to complete the key. And because it's that star one, we have to have it in, in nice and neat. And if it's not neat, you lose marks in the exam. So I tend to write all the numbers between, well, we're going to have to have stems of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 out here. So I write all the leaves that belong with the stem. Let's write all those. So we've got a 6, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 6, 2, 3, 1, an 8, an 8, an 8 an 8, a 7, and a 4. So I just do it in chunks, and that's what they give you all this extra space to do it for. They give you all this space to um, kind of help you out. So we can see now the smallest one is obviously 1. Then we've got 2, and I'm spacing out 3. Then I've got 4. Then I've got 6. Then I've got 7. Then I've got 8. And I've got 8. So I've done all of those. Now let's look at all the ones that run between... Uh, 10 and 19 inclusive for ones. So that's 10, uh, sorry, 11, 10. So let's note those down. 11, 10. What else have we got? 17, 16, and 19. 17, 16, and 19. So I'm just kind of grouping them together. It makes it easier to spot. Because it's actually really difficult to spot the smallest one and make sure you haven't missed any when you try and do it all in one go. So breaking it up into smaller chunks helps you out. So we've got 10, 11, and notice how I'm lining these up nice and neatly. Uh, 16, 17, 19. Then all the ones between 20 and 30, which is 21 and 23. Again, break it down so you don't miss any out. 22 and 28. 22, 28. And so that makes it a 1, a 2, a 3. I dig eight again. I'm lining them up vertically, so that goes like that. Then I can see I've just got a couple left in my diagram. I've got 35 and I've got 41, so I can add 35. I can add 41. Now to check of these 19 trains, there should be 19. So let's count our leaves: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That all in order and neat gets me three marks, but I must have this key. I must have a key, otherwise I lose the extra mark. So pick any number from your diagram. I choose 2, line 3, means 23 minutes late. Fourth mark. Let's move on. Write down, for the 19, min 19 late trains, write down the modal number of minutes late. Okay, so let's go back. So now we've got the stem of diagram, we can see which number comes up. Uh, more than any other number. Well, this 8, 0, 8 comes up the most, doesn't it? 0, 8 comes up the most. So actually, um, the modal class 
or the modal number of minutes late is 8. Two trains were 8 minutes late, more than any other. However, of all the trains, of all 147 trains, there was only 19 late, wasn't it? The modal number of minutes late for all of them was 0 minutes, because most of the trains were on time, only 19 were late. The station manager says, for part C, the station manager says that the late times are all 1 minute less than I recorded. For example, the train I recorded 6 minutes late was actually only 5 minutes late. Which modal uh, number of minutes late changes? Just the 19 minute, 19 trains which were late, or 147 trains, both or neither. So we're asking which happens if all these numbers went down by 1. Well, if all these numbers went down by 1, this would become a 0, this would become a 2, uh, sorry, a 1, this becomes a 2, this becomes a 3, this becomes a 4, this becomes a 6, uh, sorry, this becomes a 5, this becomes a 6, this becomes a 7, and a 7. So still, these two are the latest. I mean, the most common, not the latest, they're still the most common. Okay, because there's two of them. So that means that definitely the 19 minute late trains, okay? But what about the 147? The mode for all 147 was 0. But if you recorded, these aren't going to change. The zeros aren't going to change down to minus one minute. Okay. So, um, what happens to the mode? Well, it's just the 19 late minute late trains, and that's because 18 becomes 17, but the zero minute late. For the other trains, stays the same. Okay, so if all the late trains went down by one, only that mode changes. Okay, so the mode of the 19 late trains changes, the, the mode for, for, for the 147 trains stay, stays the same for all of them. Okay. Two marks for that. Have a think about it and think and go back over the video if you need to.